What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to Jazzing It Up in St. Lucia 2023. Uh, musical journey with Sean B. Of course, my name is Al Delosian, and I am thrilled to take you behind the scenes of the tour in jazz and the jazz scene in the Rito St. Lucia. All right, now, we're getting up for this jazz festival, but first, let's just take a moment um, to appreciate, of course, the beauty of the island itself that that's my homeland so if you don't forget that right now um senator is a jewel of the caribbean um with rainforest crystal clear waters a vibrant culture of course great people but um of course it's, it's not just the scenery of Lucia that makes it special it's also about the music as i feel the culture um the people and how we carry ourselves now, um, we have the Jazz Festival, which we are excited to talk about today. And for the first time, we're going to be having jazz in my hometown, literally next to my house, which is Teresu. That's spelled D-E-S-R-U-I-S-F-E-A-U-X. I know it's complicated, but all of us, we kind of know how to spell this, guys. <laughs> That's just how intelligent we are and where we're from, right? That's right, that's right. <laughs> In the least, all right. So today I have someone very exciting on the line run. I am so excited to um, get him here. I've been trying to get him for some time. He's a very busy man. <laughs> very, very busy man. Moves a lot, a lot around the world, so it's kind of hard to get in contact with him. But today he took some time to just make some time for us. Um, Sean is a multi-talented musician. Who has been making waves, man, in the music industry in St. Lucia and doing his thing and moving around the world, um, working on a cruise ship and also just putting that good vibe in the air. Now, today he's going to be actually performing in the traditional jazz festival in St. Lucia, but this time, as I told you, it's in Deriso. And he's going to be one of the artists on there. And we are thrilled to have him on the line today, right? So, Sean, thank you so much for taking some time to be able to, you know, just jump online with us and just give us, you know, pump us up, pump us up about jazz tomorrow. How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling ready. I'm feeling pumped and amazing right now. That's yeah. good. good. That's good, man. That's good. So where, 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 you excited about tomorrow, you say, right? I'm very excited about tomorrow. Um, I just um, finished the first, the first quarter of my rehearsals. Um, the final rehearsals, we are getting ready, we're getting set. Despite I have like a 30 minute um, show time, but I have a well full 30 minutes package in there as well too, um, with a lot going on. Um, I wish I could have gotten much more time to showcase much more of my talent and skills, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna use that 30 minutes quite effective to just um, bring across what I have in store for everybody. <laughs> That's, yeah. awesome. Hey, that's awesome. Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. Man, basically, yeah. basically, basically, I'm gonna give you the best 30 minutes of your life. <laughs> good, good, good. So, guys, you heard this experience. Leave the comments, leave the comments in the section. Let us know that you're hearing us. Share, like, subscribe. Sean is on the line. He's gonna, be, he's planning on giving you a great show tomorrow. I know he's gonna give you a great show tomorrow. He just as he said, he just came from here. So, tell me, how did you get? into the music industry what 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 drew you to the music industry man um basically as a little as a little kid growing up i i well i was born and raised in church um i grew up in the Derish evangelical church and um i usually used to sit right next to the drummer now the drummer was my cousin so i sat right jeffers jeffers Beetle. Right. i sat right next to him every day at church and he was an amazing drummer. He was very talented, very skillful. And I just admired how he played that drums. And I said to myself, I want to be like this guy. I want to be like this guy when I grow up. Like, for real, for real. I want to be like this guy. Because I find the drums to be one of the coolest instruments. Yes, it is. And I sat down next to the drummer every day. Every Sunday, I sat by the drummer in church. Every day. So you and then, 
you started in drums yeah i started as a drummer actually yeah right. nice nice so um, you close to jay you, you didn't mean. know i didn't know i couldn't sing i didn't know i i didn't discover me singing as yet but then the story goes on there was one day that so basically in my church there was like there were like five musicians to each instrument so basically if you have a drummer you have five drummers if you have guitar you have five guitarists if you have a keyboard player you have like four or five if you have whatever instrument you have there's like five individuals in that so basically I'm, i was the youngest and i'm very short very small very tiny um, at that time well i'm five feet four now at that mm -hmm. time probably i was probably like three feet <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah, I, I was i was like i was so much into it you know i was very much into it and then um i showed interest but i just sat there I, no one never taught me i i i'm a self-taught musician self-taught drama everything i never went to any um school of music or have any theory into music everything was just self-taught uh, yeah. yeah at that yeah. time so i sat there and then one day i came to church pretty early because i i actually used to be the one opening the church the church the church door because i, I never had the keys but i used to come there so early <laughs> that <laughs> i used to come so early that i can't i can't miss church you know church services and stuff right. um so i was the first one there and stuff every time so what you tried so play. basically so so basically i one day the drummer didn't show up and then i came i came I came to church and then one of the elders of the church handed me the drumsticks. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I love to mention his name because I respect him and I appreciate him for giving me yeah, that. Ahead, man. Um Tadius Promise was one of the guys who gave me my first pair of drumsticks. And he handed he handed it over to me and it's like, hey, go on the drums. Mm -hmm. I did just that. I did just that. And listen, I never played in my life. No one ever taught me nothing. No one ever taught me nothing. When I was asking guys for help, assistance, and show me and teach me, no one volunteered. No one volunteered. Um, my cousin Jeffers allowed me on his drum, on his drum kit. Mm -hmm. um, during that time, we built drum kits like with, with buckets. And <laughs> 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 it's, it's a great story. It's a great story, you know. Yeah, man. He allowed me to sound on his drum set. I, I used to play every time, just do whatever I feel like. But with yeah. no guidance, you know, basically. So I, I basically used to just watch and learn. Then and that day, that day I played the drum so well for the very first time. Everyone was so surprised and everyone marveled at how skillful I am and how talented I am playing the drums. Imagine for the very first time without any practice or anything. It was so impromptu. It was very impromptu, like mm -hmm. on the spot. So this this was my moment. It happened from that from that mo very first moment. And so I. What genre, what what music do you think like influenced you to end up getting even that little spark into like being interested even in the like the sound or the even trying to try and play because you pick it naturally. Yeah, first of all, it is it's gospel. Um, gospel was my first music I ever played. Yeah. Gospel music is one of the most amazing music that you can ever come across. Um, it's not the easiest music to play, I would say. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in gospel music. It's very technical. Um, yeah, but gospel music was one of my first inspiration, first music I ever played. So having that 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 that, that gospel background uh -huh. helped a lot. It helped me um, to to like basically like um, accept a few other genres of music quite easily and effortlessly, basically. So what? So what would you say the difference between like playing jazz or even like? Anything like jazz versus gospel? Um, jazz is a genre of music, which is I can say you can basically incorporate the both like both genres together, both gospel and jazz together, because they 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 fit quite well together. Um, sometimes you have like gospel music with jazz chords or jazz progressions inside. Um, it has a little bit of some jazz and there's time signature. So basically you have a, a feel of that jazz right into that gospel music right there. So it makes it a little bit much more easier. Yeah. If you have the theory, I mean theory, like you 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 went to school, you learned that stuff. But that stuff is right there, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand. It's a, it's it's a mix. 
it's a mix of all the genres together. So it um, can't be out for you that you started on another genre that now we, the other genres and everything else kind of come like accompaniment, like, like the accompan accompaniment like each order very well though. Okay, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. so as you travel, you get to play all of, all different types then, of What's I moved like? over to I moved over to the cruise industry in 2009, mm -hmm. where I was a drummer in a band. Yeah. And um, obviously I went. I I could basically play only reggae and soca, which is um the Caribbean most um played music. Well known, well known, well known music and genre. Yeah. Um, so, but then I had to expand my vocabulary musically. Um, right. So I had to spend time around knowing the waltz, the cha cha, the rumba, the different grooves, the Latin, the Latin grooves, the um, sambas, um, wow. the Afro Cuban, the Afro beats, um, the, the country, the Motown, the soul, the mm -hmm. disco. Wow. I had to learn all these various genres of music um, as a drummer. So I had to spend time rehearsing, practicing, learning new material. And mind you, I wasn't singing as yet. Just as a right. drummer, basically. Right. I was just about to ask you on your <laughs> singing as yet, right? <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't close to singing. Wow, that's amazing, man. That, like you, you, you people, with, you know, the youngsters, you could learn a lot from him, you know. Yeah, just for sure. How I, I was, he created and how he figured out how to make it. You know? <laughs> that's a, that, that's how you create a career. It's really difficult, but that's the career of a, of a musician. He started, mm -hmm. and good thing he started at the gospel, and of course. Mm -hmm. Starting that in the dearest Catholic Church, of course, big up to, 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 to our church, and then everybody kind of navigate everywhere around and try and figure it out. But I'm actually, I'm um, the dearest evangelical church, evangelical, and you went to the evangelical church, yeah. I went to the Catholic church, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. But that's how that's 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 really amazing how you figured out how to get there. So now, jazz has come to your footsteps, yeah. I mean, we waited a long time. Jazz has been in St. Lucia for a very long time. I'm very long time. So I'm aware of it. Um, now to hear coming in there is like just amazing. How, how, what does it feel like that it comes right at your doorstep? And honestly, honestly, to be honest, it's a blessing, to be honest. Um, I'll tell you a secret, right? <laughs> my parents, my family have never seen me perform. My friends have never seen me perform. Uh, they need um, to see you. Most people don't know that I do this kind of stuff. I, I be, I'll be honest. Um, during my time on the cruise on the cruise line on the cruise ship, I used to like go live and showcase my my band and my skills um, from Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and people are like surprised, but they like the content, anyways. But having to do it live in my community is such a great privilege it's yeah. a blessing i'm very honored and i want to thank um basically the management the planners the um promoters whoever whoever <laughs> was involved in good vibes 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 good my skills and my talent to my community and to my people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Big up to, I'm not even fully savvy on everybody that's all involved in it, but big up to you all for bringing it out on the forefront. Um, I, can, I can mention a few names if you allow me. Yeah, to. Go ahead. You, you I, don't know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know everybody who's on the community, but I can I can probably mention Most a few names. Um, I'm little still, man. Yeah, go ahead. Definitely, definitely uh, Miss Liner Centers. Of course, of course. Natalie yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, Carlos Monsheri, Nintas McGre, mm -hmm. Priska Eriste. Big ups to y'all. Uh, she's married. I forgot her last name. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You could just say the name. Did, like, I, miss, did yeah. I miss someone else? <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't aware of everybody that came. I know, I, know I, I miss a, a few persons, but guys, yes. I love you all. <laughs> yeah, man. That's good. That's yeah. good. And I'm proud of you too, man. I'm really proud of you. I appreciate I appreciate your feedback and I appreciate your love and your support, bro. Yeah, man. We're there too to support one another and make sure that we get it for next year and the next 20 years too. You check me. We want okay. that. We want to keep this, to keep this as... As as, <laughs> as Yeah. Annually, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Having, having this event as, as, as the very first time in, in, in this community, it means a lot, bro. Like, um, it means a lot. It means a lot to us as a people. It means a lot to the community. And many, a lot of people, a lot of, sorry, a lot of persons don't see um, 
how effective the benefit the benefits of this event but this is something very very important for each and every one of us as a community as a as a people so i'm very grateful i'm very honored i'm very thankful to be part of this greatness i'm i'm very happy to be part of something great basically um i think this is history i think this is something memorable i think this, this is something that that we can tell our grandkids hey listen there was Jason Derry so in 2020 yeah, right. no, we can share the legacy of of everything everything yeah during that time you know so it means a lot to us you know that's good that's good and, and i'm happy that you're part of it you've been in church playing music you've been around playing music and all types of parties and festivals and things going yes um, i basically played uh, a, a, lot, a few um pre prestigious um hotels on the island i start, actually i start, i joined the local after the church i joined a local band in the community mm -hmm. um where we played at a few hotels on the island just name it name name it name it um i did a few feelings as well with the hotels with various bands I've worked alongside a few well-known musicians and artists on island as well too. So I got the experience and exposure. Mm -hmm. Um, basically just doing the feelings, you know, and recommendations as well. So for instance, if um a specific singer couldn't make it for the night, if I'm available, I'll get a call or a drama or something, I'll get a call. Hey, Sean, can you come fill in the gig for tonight? And this has gained um massive exposure for me as well and recommendations as well too. That's good. That's good. And, and let me ask you mm -hmm. question coming. What do you why do you think Berito is the perfect spot to have jazz? Berito, um, personally, is a very nice, well kept community. Um, something different about Berito and the Jazz and Arts Festival is that we don't just do music, we don't just have a headliner, we have arts, we have the creative industry where you have those people who are knitting um like crochet um those who are doing different different like handmade handmade bags local right. local stuff like we we promote local stuff we promote we, we promote the creative in the community so basically whatever you're doing for um for monetary purposes as long as it's a business you're an entrepreneur this you are part of this event because you know what we want to showcase our people we want to showcase the local arts and crafts and you guys know? i want to encourage you all to be entrepreneurs eh? That's, if there's one thing i want you all to encourage you all to do no matter everything you all see me involved in it's all about being an, an entrepreneur That's sure, being sure, sure. yeah being free participate in it yeah they're already it's, creating a it's all about business bro Yes, yes, yes. And pushing yourself, marketing yourself. More you want to say more about why Deriso deserves to, you know, get jazz. And why and how can we evolve it for next year? And I think I, I think I, I think this is this this um this event mm -hmm. is very motivational and very inspirational in regards to there are a lot of artists or or musicians or entrepreneurs who probably didn't get a chance to showcase themselves. And I want to tell you, listen, don't give up. I know you might be a little bit, probably a little bit upset or whatever. You didn't get a spot, you didn't get a chance. But listen, don't give up. Don't give up, Continue guys. doing greatness. Continue doing yourself. Continue pushing yourself. You will get a chance to showcase what you do. You will get a chance to be in the spotlight one day. All right? Great work. Um, this doesn't happen overnight it doesn't it doesn't just happen like that you know so it's something you have to push yourself and keep going at it it takes a luck if if if, if you're lucked out you probably can just get it right now but if you're not you gotta work you gotta work for it because i basically i put in some serious time and hours effort years i've been into the music industry for over 10 years professionally and i'm only getting this 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 publicity right now it's over 10 years bro after covid so imagine 10 11 12 13 years right now so i'm actually getting publicity right now after like 13 years now so this means a lot to me you know it just yeah. shows that the hard work pays off um i've been i've been going and going i have i've been through ups and downs i've been at my lowest i've been at my highest and then i've been back to my lowest again yeah. and then i never quit i never stop i never stop that's the thing 
you never stop. Just keep going. That's so right. that's what's up. Yeah. Reinvent yourself, come back, bounce back, yep. stop, never quit, guys. You don't know how to do that, right? That's yeah, not, yeah. Especially when you can do so, that's not an option, guys. No. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how do you think over the next years you think they can evolve? Um, jazz in there, so and make it even bigger. Of course, I know I need to come down and make sure I make priority for that and have a tent and everything else. So, yeah. we'll make that happen soon. We'll make all sure. that happen on St. Lucia very soon. But, how do you think they can we can even evolve it and make it more make them come back in St. Lucia for years to come? Um, basically, this event, this event should showcase everything that needs to be done. At least, we started off. Um, we need to keep the legacy going. We as a people, as a community, needs to let the legacy live on. So we're gonna do whatever it takes. We're gonna do whatever we gotta do to make it happen and make it make it possible. Yeah. That's, yeah. Good. That's good. And then guys, I wanna also let the other artists that are gonna be performing know that by platform, you could try and contact me. I'll try and get back to you. Of course, I'm a busy guy, but I'll try and get back to y'all. So we just had to try and get this done. Sean and I have been trying to get this. For the, longest while, right? for the longest while <laughs> for the longest while we just move around a lot so sean what do you, what um what projects do you have going on um other than the jazz coming on or as you said you were telling me about you have some songs coming out yeah i have some songs coming out i have some um some music coming out very soon so i'm i'm looking to release this music very soon for senusha carnival um i have a few reggae's in the pipeline as well so i have material i have content um awaiting to release basically beautiful 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 that's good man that's good that's really exciting to hear that's really really exciting to hear so um i mean you pretty much answer all our questions today we know you are busy man and you're tired i know you they enjoying the island We're yeah gonna... I... You know? I've, I've been at rehearsals like all day today, like just to ensure that we have a great show tomorrow. So I'm very exhausted, but I just took some time off to just get this done with you as well, Trisha. That is great. Thank you so much for taking the time to be able to do it for us, do to do it this podcast with us. Thank you, thank you for having me, bro. Thank you for having me. Yeah, man, you're most welcome. We have to support one another. <laughs> you know already. Um, sure. as the, that's it, guys, for Jazzing It Up in Deriso. I'm St. Lucia 2023, musical journey with Sean B. Um, yes. one, Thank you for tuning in to the podcast. Um, we have you know, we found this podcast like informative, and you learn a little bit about my neighborhood and one of our our uprising stars from Derico. <laughs> Wish him all the best. We don't just want to see him in the neighborhood. We want him to make lots and lots and lots of money and get the spotlight that he deserves. As you heard, we've been putting in the work. We want to know? We want to let you know we're very very proud of you, man. Thank you guys for tuning in to the podcast today. Um, before we wrap up. We want to remind you follow and subscribe to all social media channels and of course you know we're on all platforms from spotify to shop um pandora to apple music apple yeah itunes yeah yep we are all platforms and also don't forget to check out our online store at www.ivtaware.com i know we got some cool stuff on there and got some sales going on so don't forget to check it out sean Yes, Thank sir. Thank you so much, man. Big ups to you. Large up to you. Hopefully, I see you soon and we catch you by the bar and have some right, drink. For sure. Appreciate you, man. Have a great evening. All right. Thank you so Appreciate much. You, my boy. Have a good one and great performance. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Yes, this has been our podcast today with our artist one of our local guys sean i am so proud of him i want to thank everybody for subscribing don't forget to share like and subscribe we appreciate you just for tuning in today well if you want this to continue like this me interviewing people from the neighborhood you suggest the people and we'll try and make it happen we want to thank you and appreciate you for the love you guys have a great one i am signing out <music>